So in this demo, we're going to use the InfraScale dashboard to do two things. One, we're going to tour our endpoint backup product for laptops, mobiles, and branch offices. Secondly, we're going to look at our server data protection product and actually do a cloud failover in a simulated disaster. Here on the home screen of dashboard, you can see all of the tools that we provide. Here I've gone into all of our protected devices. and I'm going to filter this for a particular username, in this case, Sales Demo 3. You can see here all the different devices that match that filter. So I'm going to manage this first one. And when I click into it, the first thing I see here is this sort of account overview, which shows me device management options. Uh, I can go in here and, for example, I could do a wipe device action, and that gives me two options. One would be a full remote format, which uh, I'm not going to do for this demo. And the other option was the selective wipe. I've also got geolocation functionality where I can actually find all of my endpoints on a map. So imagine the scenario where a laptop's been stolen. I could use this in combination with the remote wipe functionality that we saw earlier. All this functionality is what we call our data loss prevention technology. There's also a variety of analytics views which lets you get a sort of snapshot view of your environment either on a calendar basis or aggregated over the last 30 days or even the last 24 hours depending upon what it is that you actually want to investigate. So next let's go and actually simulate doing a failover using our cloud boot technology. And so on screen we here see uh, rows of appliances. You can think of each row as one uh, data set that we're protecting. So on the left hand side you've got an appliance, physical or virtual, that's installed in the data center or inside the office that we're protecting. And on the right hand side is the replication target for that particular source appliance. In the case of the first row, that particular appliance is standalone. The second one is replicating to the cloud and uh, another option is to replicate to a second or even a tertiary appliance. So you've got multiple replication options. And what I want to do is actually drill into one of these appliances, but I don't want to have to connect with a VPN or with any other ancillary technology. And InfraScale lets you do that right from the cloud-based console on my iPad or my laptop. I can drill into any particular one of these appliances that I'm managing. And so here on screen, you can see all of the different individual jobs that have occurred over time. So this particular office, I'm protecting a bunch of servers, but I want to go to the Cloud Boot tab at the top here and really show you this. Imagine that else Exchange Server has gone down. I'm going to right click my Exchange Server and hit boot and walk through this simple wizard where the first step is I can pick the recovery point at which I want to restore my Exchange Server. Then next I can set up my firewall and network rules that determine who and what and where can access this particular Exchange Server. For the purpose of this demo I'm just going to restrict traffic to RDP and SSH. Hit next, I'll type in my email address to notify me when the Cloud Boot operation is finished and then kick that job off. Now to see the servers that I actually have running in the cloud or machines that I've done cloud but I go here to the active tab. So the overview is all my available servers and then the active tab are the ones that I'm actually running in the cloud. So here I can uh, I can see the status of I can export this machine if I want to bring this back to my on-premise infrastructure or I can connect directly into this machine. So again, server's gone down, it's 2 a.m. in the middle of the night. I do the cloud boot, which would take a couple of minutes, uh, up to uh, 15 minutes is the worst case scenario. I'm now connecting over RDP to this, so I authenticate with my Windows credentials. And now I'm inside that server. So that server is running in the InfraScale cloud. It's been, uh, it's been virtualized and booted and mounted. It's now running. Let's go ahead and actually ping Google to verify that we've got network connectivity on this box. All right, so we're alive. And so that's it. You saw me fail over a, a server that's died to the cloud. Uh, the entire operation just took me about a minute. And that's really the promise that InfraScale brings. The simplicity and power of push-button failover at the price point of a typical backup solution.